twist and turn from beauty. One of the main is a god. G O D, you and me, go my arms to bar. Twist and turn from beauty. One of the main is a god. G O D, you and me, go my arms to bar. Twist and turn from beauty. One of the main is a god. G O D, you and me, go my arms to bar. Twist and turn from beauty. One of the main is a god. G O D, you and me, go my arms to bar. Greetings, humans. My name is Devar. I am the chief archon of a triad of extraterrestrial, intergalactic, interdimensional, extratemporal beings. My name is Oz, or the Wizard of Oz. We exist within and throughout all space, matter, and time. We are the three great builders, or metaphorical supports, of this reality. My name is Gomer. We are the triumvirate powers responsible for designing and ensuring the operation of the universe. We three are one unit, each supported by the other in our respective cuties. The initials of our three names, Gomer, Oz, Devar, spells out the word, God. We are, in fact, the God that you trust in, as it is written on the back of the dollar bill currency, from the country you call the United States of America, on planet Earth. This is why my face is hidden on the back of the dollar bill, because we are the hidden hand controlling the subconscious minds of people on planet Earth. One of the ways we control the minds of Earthlings, is through your currency. With the introduction of cryptocurrency to your planet, we upgraded our systems of control. Eventually, your planet will graduate from cryptocurrency, to xenocurrency, the spiritual currency utilized throughout the universe. Each of us represent a particular characteristic. I, Debar, represent wisdom. I, Oz, represent strength. I, Gomer, represent beauty. We three are not separate, but a trinity of leadership that provide you with the final esoteric understanding of wisdom, strength, and beauty. Debar thinks, Oz, acts, and Gomer keeps the peace and harmony. There should be wisdom to contrive, strength to support, and beauty to adorn all great and important undertakings throughout the multiverses. The characteristics of wisdom, strength, and beauty can also be described as the three B's, brains, brawn, and beauty. We represent the aspects of God known as omniscience, omnipotence, and omnipresence. Devar, wisdom, represents omniscience, the all-knowing characteristic of God. Oz, strength, represents omnipotence, the all-powerful characteristic of God. Gomer, beauty, represents omnipresence, the ubiquitous ever-present characteristic of God throughout all of space. In space, we represent the suns, moons, and stars throughout the universe. In time, we represent the past, present, and future. As the mechanics of the mind, we represent knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. In matter, we represent the fundamental particles of quarks, leptons, and bosons. Delbar represents leptons, like electrons, the fundamental particles responsible for thought. Oz represents bosons, the fundamental particles of force. Gomer represents quarks, the fundamental particles that sit within the central nucleus of all atoms. As principles in human beings, we represent man, woman, and child. We have many manifestations that may be known to you. We manifest as various biblical characters, with the best examples being the three S's of Solomon, Samson, and Sheba. It is important to know that Gomer, Oz, and Devar represent wisdom, strength, and beauty, but that the words do not mean wisdom, strength, and beauty. The word, Devar comes from a Hebrew word meaning, to speak, or more properly, to arrange or order. The word, Oz, comes from a Hebrew word meaning, strength, power, and might. The word Gomer, comes from a Hebrew word meaning, to complete, to cease, to come to an end. The letter G is also associated in Hebrew with the third sacred name of God, which is Gadol, meaning great, which shares meaning with the Latin word Magnus. Taken literally, the meaning of Gomer, Oz, Debar, in Hebrew, means, to end the strength of speech, which is related to the Proverbs, silence is golden, and, a picture, or symbol, is worth a thousand words. The Hebrews gave great significance, not only to their words, but also to the letters that formed them. The first letters in Hebrew of, Gomer, Oz, and Devar, are Gimel, Ayin, and Dalit. 
which have their origins in the Phoenician alphabet, which gave rise to the Greek alphabet, and the letters, Gamma, Omicron, Delta. And, through the shape of these three initials, conceals the true meaning of God, as the supreme archon of the universe.